Good morning. I'm on the decline of my morning uphill walk. And yesterday was a very successful day in many ways. But I wanted to kind of share some vulnerability here and talk about this friction that I've been feeling lately just the past couple days. But um, yeah, first off, the oh, so beautiful um, this silverware drawer that I have, the soft clothes in the back kept like unlatching or something, couldn't figure it out, kept like slamming all over the place. And I tried to fix it, but one of the rails got misaligned, and so it's like. I don't know how to explain it well, but anyway, it got stuck. And I had like about this much access into the drawer. And I was actually starting to feel like almost hopeless because there was no clear way and it like wouldn't budge. I wouldn't I fidget, you know, um, jiggled it and nothing happened. And I was about to start taking apart like the whole entire basically kitchen drawer system two by fours underneath um, when I just popped out this little clip at the end and it slid right out and I was like oh my god so huge so huge so I am basically fully reorganized and unpacked which is pretty big and now I can just focus on like living you know um and i also helped out these i i was working on the drawer and i got this knock on my van it's like 2 p.m and i'm like oh shit <laughs> um and i look outside and it's these two women and they're in like you know national forest looking clothes and i'm like oh boy i'm about to get like kicked out oh you can't camp here or something like that um, and they're like, oh, we were working on this, on this trail and we came back to our van and our van won't start. And we were wondering if you could like give us a jump. And I gave them my external like battery jumper thing, uh, from Amazon and that didn't work. It was not fully charged. So I'm guessing that might've done something, but anyway. Brought the van down, jumped their van, and then got them off on their way. <clears throat> but this friction I've been feeling. Uh, if you've been following the last couple days, I have been struggling a little bit with solar and battery capacity, I guess. Because running like my laptop and my phone and my Starlink and like a bunch of electronics off of my batteries. It drains a lot. And basically this setup kind of only works if it's, or it works best if it's sunny all day, basically, <laughs> uh, which it's not. And it was supposed to be sunny um, all, yesterday morning and then get rainy in the afternoon but another big win was it was unusually sunny most of the day and so anyway this this situation has produced this constraint where like I can't really use my Starlink as much as I would like to but in a way this is like I'm, I'm, in a way I like it because I like the constraint and it forces me to be intentional. But I've only been putting in like, you know, three hours of focused work in the past couple like work sessions. And I just keep thinking like, is this enough to actually make this work and I don't have the answer to that and so it's this like 
it's this growing sense of like, you know, you're not doing enough. You're not doing enough. Like you need to work more. And, you know, I, I'm addressing that with the, what would you say, like rational side of my brain, which is like, well, you know, oh, it'll never be enough. But at the same time, it's like, well, you know, the extreme example is like, you know, I can't just work for like 30 minutes once a week and be like, oh, but you know, it'll never be enough, you know? Like there's, there's a line there somewhere and I just don't know where it is. And so, I don't know, I am wrestling with that. And I'm not quite sure how to reconcile it. But I figure yesterday was like the perfect day. Besides some like showers in the afternoon, sunny all day, uh, solar power most of the day. And just this feeling of like working on my table, on my laptop, and then deciding to take a break closing the laptop, turning around, walking outside, like three steps, and just like, you know, I'll, I'll go over across the way, walking out into just this view, which I will show you in about three seconds. <clears throat> I mean, there's my van, but like, look at this. Like, close the laptop, turn around, walk three steps, and you're standing here. Birds chirping. Wind uh, rustling tr uh, the leaves on the trees. Sun is shining. I mean, it's a little bit cloudy right now, but, you know, sun is shining. It's warm. It's a cool, like, high 50s, low 60s right now. Get some into the... Uh, let's say 70s to 80s here. Like the air is just fresh. It's quiet. It's peaceful. There's greenery everywhere. You can see for like, you know, miles probably. And that is unmatched. Unmatched. And so, I don't know what the answer is. But I do think, in terms of mental health and, like, sustainability, this is, like, this is pretty up there in terms of, you know, I don't think I'm going to feel burnt out with this particular lifestyle when you're just, like, you're just in nature. This is not like a park in the city. This is like in nature. <laughs> so anyway, kind of a friction that I'm wrestling with, but a lot to be grateful for here. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased, <laughs> satisfied, grateful to be here and to be able to experience this. So anyway, that's what's going on today. See you tomorrow.